Good morning. Welcome back to Breakfast Television. And as the novel coronavirus spreads around the globe, is it time to change the way we look at produce, which lasts longest? Is there such a thing as produce etiquette? And what is the best way to clean and wash our produce once we get it home? All great questions. Here to answer that, we have got holistic nutritionist Andrea Donsky and her husband, VP of Mr. Produce, Rich. It's the Donskys. Good morning. Hey, good, good morning. morning. <laughs> I finally get to meet you, Rich. I love Andrea. Like, who knew it would be this way? So that's yeah. a silver lining. I finally get to see your face and we get to talk. So talk to us a little bit. How are you both coping right now, first of all? Well, with three kids at home, it's a little bit challenging. <laughs> but we're making do. We're making do. Thank God for the Internet and uh, video games. Exactly. And staying, trying to stay positive. We're doing our best. Yes. Exactly. And try to eat healthfully because a lot of people are talking about, you know, it's, they're just eating carbs and mm -hmm. eating their feelings. There's a lot of great produce. I'm going to talk about that right now. And right in front of you, you have a ton of great produce. And, and talk about, first of all, the etiquette. When you get to the store, what is the etiquette we all need to have at those grocery stores? Well, it's kind of tough because produce section is somewhere where everybody's touching everything. And we really don't want to be doing that these days. Um, you know, that's why we're actually delivering to homes because that's we're trying to keep people out of the stores. We've never done that before. Mm -hmm. And for the first time in 35 years, we're delivering to homes to keep people out of the stores so they can either stay at home or do more important things like search for toilet paper. <laughs> so, exactly. You don't actually, want to be wasting valuable time. One thing, if you are at the store and you aren't getting a home delivery, make sure that you're very specific with what you want to buy. So don't touch everything in front of you. If you want to buy your orange, pick up your orange, put it into your basket. Don't pick it up and put it back down. So that would be definitely etiquette that we want to follow these days. Okay, if Good you point. touch it, buy it. Up next, what lasts the longest? Because we are making fewer and fewer trips to the grocery store as we've been advised to do so. So what can we keep in our fridge that stores a lot longer than other produce, for example? Give us those long-lasting ones. Right, well, I mean, the staple items, potatoes, squash, You've got hard squash here. You've got uh, some cauliflower, cabbage. These are things that'll last longer. I'll put on my uh, glove here because I want to be, you know, this is etiquette, produce etiquette. So basically, these are the things you can store out of the fridge. You can store them in a pantry. You can store them in a cupboard, and they'll last for a few weeks. You can also eat them right away and keep them stored. So if you want to have that red cabbage, you can of course slice it, put some on the salad, and keep it in the fridge. fridge. Or, you know, once you cut it open, it's going to be refrigerated. But if you're not going to eat it right away, it'll stay in a pantry or somewhere. Somewhere cool and dark, it'll stay for a couple of weeks easy. But you don't really want to buy too much. You want to buy what you need. There's no sense. So you want to mix it up. You can buy some perishables. You can buy your berries, buy your grapes. If they start to go, you see in the fridge for a little bit, you know, after a few days, four days, five days, freeze them. Don't throw them out. Put them in the freezer. They're a great snack. Use them for smoothies. Use what you have. There's no sense throwing anything out. So, you know, let the bananas ripen on, on, on the counter. When they start to go off, peel them, throw them in the freezer. And that goes with everything. Yeah, we want to make sure they're, we're not being wasteful at this time, especially when we're making those short trips or these uh, less, less trips to get to the grocery stores. Exactly. Um, the thing is, when we get them home, you know, I got some mangoes the other day, and I was like, I got to clean these things, right? How do I wash them? And what are the steps we need to take to wash our produce when we get them home for different types? That's Andrea's okay. the expert in washing. All right, I'm going to say, first of all, I always wash my produce any time of the year. So what you want to do is, and what I do is, I've got veggie wash. I always keep veggie wash at home. This is from Nature Clean. And what I do is, I take either in my sink or I take a bowl. And so this, you can see, this is produce that I washed last night, which is dirty. Rich is going to show you the clean one. Wow. So you can see the difference. Yeah. Also, this is from grapes and I did potatoes. So what you do, really easy. So you can take the liquid, pour some on your hand, and if it's something with a harder skin, just lather it up and then rub it, rub the produce for about 30 seconds. You want to get it nice and clean, then you're going to rinse it, and then you're going to rub it again with a towel. If it's something like a berry that has that soft skin, what you can do is fill up your bowl with water, pour in a couple squirts of the veggie wash, and then pour the produce into the actual bowl like that. Let it sit, you don't have to squirt everywhere. Let it sit for about five to 10 minutes, and then after that, you're gonna see it'll be nice and dirty. If you don't have veggie wash at home and you can't get any, use vinegar, really effective as well. You wanna do a, a one to four ratio, of a four to one ratio of vinegar to water, so water to vinegar. Four cups of water, one cup of vinegar, let it soak for 20 minutes. 
And then that'll also remove all of the dirt and stuff. So that'll work just as effectively as well. Great tips. Now, we did see a lot of people hoarding, so we would love to hear from you, Rich. How is everything looking at the food terminals? Is, you know, are the supplies coming in? Do people need to worry? Because we did see them bulk buying. I couldn't find a sweet potato or a regular potato for a long time, speaking of things that last for a long time. Right. So what do you say to that? Well, yeah, there's no reason to hoard. The supply is the supply is fine. There's lots coming in. They've put in some pretty strict rules at the food terminal. Um, you basically can't get out of your vehicle. Uh, you can't walk around. You've got to do everything by phone now, and uh, everything just gets delivered to your truck or your vehicle. And um, but the supply is strong. There's no issues at the border. Stuff is coming. The farmers are still growing. Uh, none of this can be stopped by any law. You know that that stuff's been in progress. So it's, it's just a matter of, uh, you know, buying what you need. There's no reason to hoard. And being mindful of others, because when we hoard, then it's just less for everybody else, right? So that's the key. Amen. Yeah, that's it. Thank you so much. Some great advice, some great tips. Where do we find you guys? Well, we're at mrproduce.com, and we are doing home deliveries for people who can't get out, elderly, people who are disabled, and, uh, you know, some or of the produce is If you don't want to go to the grocery store, their so, website is Mr. Produce, M I S T E R, produce.com, where they can call, right, as well. You can, call, you can call or email orders at mrproduce.com, and we'll be happy to, uh, to help you out and deliver right to your door, condo, apartment, whatever it may be. Great tips. So good to see you both. Stay well. Love to the family. It's the Donskis, Rich and Andrea. Thanks.